Okay, today I am joined by Danny Feldman with his Eagles hat on. If you don't know Dan Feldman, he, his father uh, was a teacher at Baptist High who taught Pastor Vince, Todd Hyland, uh, myself, Dan, Mark Johnson, and just a whole slew of people. And then his mom is all, was also a teacher there at Bethel, and uh, she actually uh, taught Ethan's last class. I think she retired at, because of Ethan. So, and Danny is up in the, the balcony with us. He's one of our balcony bunch. What's going on, Dan? Not much, Bill. How are you? Uh, just living the quarantine life. Still got to go to work and whatnot. And uh, glad to do this for you. Yeah, oh, thanks, man. So tell me a little bit about the uh, – so you work at FedEx. So how is this uh, – how has your life changed with this? Being um, myself, uh, my life hasn't really changed a whole lot because I work in the warehouse. And in the warehouse, you handle the packages. And aside from washing your hands repeatedly and wearing a mask now and not breathing on anyone and getting too close to them, it hasn't really affected my hours and monetarily too much. Okay. So you have to wear a mask the entire time you're in the factory? Like in the warehouse, I'm sorry? It's not the entire time. It's more or less when the sword's going on and there's other people around you. If you're by yourself, they're not going to say a whole lot because there's nobody near you. Fair enough. And uh, have you noticed an upswing in more, like, stuff going out? Has is, is it been? Um, as far as outgoing volume that would be delivered to your home, yes. It's more uh, online orders, which would be delivered to your home, but the carrier doesn't have contact with you anymore that would come to your door and ordinarily ring your bell and hand it to you. Right. They, just, they just drop it on the porch because they don't want COVID-19, neither do you. No, that's, that's a good point. Yes, I, I don't want it. Um, so, well, uh, yeah, now you are a giant sports fan as, I, as I am as well. You, you missing baseball? Um, yes, I'm missing baseball to the extent now that I've pulled out the PS Vita handheld game and I'm playing PS Vita handheld baseball from five years ago. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? Are you doing well in it? Um, 28 and 10, I think, about 38 games into the season. I did a franchise and I drafted my own Phillies team and uh, doing all right so far. I'm in first in the division, but I have a long way to go. <laughs> there you go. Who, 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 uh, what Phillies did you draft? Um, none. You didn't draft any Phillies? <laughs> Who's your player then? Who's your guy that you drafted? Uh, I have Goldschmidt from Arizona, and I oh I'm sorry I have Utley Utley's on the field was was on the Phillies. He, he was there you go my my have, favorite I have, player. I have Segura who's currently on the Phillies. Okay, okay. Uh, have a, my team's a younger team where uh, I try to draft like a good mix of younger and older players so this way I can kind of rotate people around when they get tired. Okay. So who would be your favorite Philly of all time? Is it Michael Jack Schmidt? Is it Steve um, Carlton, who, who's your favorite Philly of all time? I would say that my favorite Philly of all time would probably, as a kid, I would say Mike Schmidt. But now that I'm an adult looking back, I realize that uh, Lefty Carlton has had a lot of great accomplishments also, so it would probably be a toss-up between the two of them now. Okay, that's, that's fair. Now, you were a pitcher when you were younger, am I correct? This is correct. Back when I was uh, 9, 10, and 11 in the Audubon Baseball uh, Little League, I did pitch, yes. You were pretty decent, right? I mean, you were, you were pretty good. You know, I knew you throw over 100, right? No, I don't throw over 100. I might throw half of 100. Oh, okay. Well, you got me beat by a half, so I'm only at 25. As a kid, um... I was, I would call myself probably an average player, but there was a lot of um, kids who were slightly below average, and I was older than most of the kids in the, the league, too, because of my birthday. Okay. Well, I mean, come on, give yourself a little credit. You don't have to tell that part of it. You got to be like, yeah, man, I dominated. I, I didn't dominate. By oh, I mean, you know, the, the, that's what this is all about, right? You know, you got to pump yourself up. Listen, if you, if you want a story, I'll tell you a story that once upon a time, back when I was 11, I did throw a no-no uh, yeah. in the minor league park over by the high school. That was my only significant moment, though. Okay. Well, I mean, I've had many no-nos, but that means uh, no hits, no getting on base. No, I didn't no, do no. any. I was the batter. 
Now, so you, you throw a no-hitter, uh, oh. basically like a perfect game? No, I threw a no-hitter. I, I think I may have punked the same kid twice. Okay, fair enough. Well, good for you, man. So, um, uh, and uh, you liking the Eagles draft? Did you Were you happy about it, or what was your uh, – I was hopeful that they were going to take a receiver in the first round. Uh, the receiver they took, I feel, was the wrong receiver. But now that I'm reading more about them, I think it could possibly work out. They're trying to make their team a uh, little bit more fast. But I thought that the kid that went right ahead of them was a little better. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we're all going to find out. And just as long as Dallas loses and the Eagles win it all, I'm happy. As long as Dallas and New York lose, I don't care what Washington does. <laughs> good point. Good point. Well, let's, since we're already in the whole Eagles talk and everything, let's go into – you got your Eagles hat on. I don't have mine on, but I'll put it on for this segment. But I'll first take out this question. Uh, here, dump that out. I just knocked my. Uh, I'm gonna put my Eagles hat on for you. Oh, he's got his Eagles hat on. This is this is my backup Eagles hat. My real Eagles hat lights off. <laughs> you have a light up Eagles hat? Yes, it's upstairs. That's kind of cool. That's pretty good. All right, let's go with your would you rather question. Would you rather uh, would you rather eat nothing but hamburgers or be nothing but hot dogs? Oh, that's a hard question, Bill. I mean, they're both very delicious foods if I could have my choice. So you're at a grill, you're at a, you know, barbecue. What are you going? You going hamburger or you going hot dog? Usually when I go to a barbecue, I, I pick one of each or several of each, but I can't do that in the Would You Rather game. No, no, so, you, you got to go with one. So I would, uh, provided that the burger has cheese and some condiments on it, I would choose burger. Burger. Now, if you're at the ballpark, you go in Dollar Dog? If I'm at the ballpark, I go any dog over any burger at the ballpark. At the ballpark, I agree with you. I fully agree with you. So I'm going to lose this hat because I look silly in it when I wear a uh, collar and I'm trying to look all professional in this. But, you know, I, okay. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I just feel that, you know, just to make myself feel better about myself. Okay, that sounds good to me. <laughs> so uh, you're missing uh, being up in the balcony or are you, you enjoying rather just – at home watching it on the, the screen? I'm more of like a, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. I'm like a groupie where I like to be like with groups of people and I'm a social body where being home, I was talking to one of the neighbors who I ran into that lived down the road that is a Christian. I'm not sure of her name. And uh, I was explaining to her, you know, this quarantine is driving me crazy. I can't sit in front of the uh, iPad because it's too boring and mundane for me. <laughs> it, you, you like to be around people. I uh, I get that. Me, I'm the opposite. I I would rather just sit there and be nice and quiet. And but then again, so me being uh, Mister Not Social, I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to talk to as many people from the church as I can during this quarantine. So here we are. <laughs> you learned. Something. So um um. Anything else going on in your life? Anything exciting? Or are we just bored because of quarantine? Quarantine has me pretty bored right now. I work in the morning. I work in the PM. And currently, my significant other's parents won't let me come see her because they're afraid that the uh, pandemic mm -hmm. uh, may, may come into their home. I don't have it, so I don't understand the, the, right. their logic. I'm not arguing about it. Well, you know, I guess just being cautious, right? I, that's what I'm saying it is. <laughs> or, or maybe this was just a really good excuse. They were just like, huh, we can make sure Danny can't come over. Oh, I have an idea. Danny's still been over there a few times. Uh, oh, don't say that. Boy, that okay, well, hey, man, this is, that's on you. It has nothing to do with me. I, I like it. So um, you, you get to watch any TV or are you doing anything like that or? Um, yeah, I've been watching TV. I watched uh, the various older movies, Talladega Nights, Happy Gilmore. Um, trying to think what else I've seen. It's a lot of the throwback movies that are on TV. And then 
I like to watch the uh, the shows where they do like uh, Flip or Flop and uh, and Bargain Mansions. Flip or Flop? That can't be right. You mean like the, 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 it's the, on HGTV? Yeah, but that's not. Is it Flip or Flop? That can't be right, right? It's like, Flip or Flip or Flop. It's it's a guy buys a house and then he it's a piece of junk and then he fixes up and sells it. Okay, yeah. Now that makes sense. I think you're right. Yeah, I think it's flip or flop. I, I just thought you know it, it sounded more like a basketball. No, and, and then I watch Bargain Mansions uh, once a while. I throw Simpsons on. Okay. Well, I see you got some good shows there, and and you know you're getting your sports kick with your Happy Gilmore watching some golf. I mean, I've seen the Happy Gilmore movie so many times I could probably recite it. Really? You, you like when he beats up Bob Barker? That's probably my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, you know, I, I, I think I, I do. I enjoy when he – well, I mean, I said beats up Bob Barker. Bob Barker knocks him down. I mean, he's the – It's uh, kind of the other way around. Yeah. Well, all good, all good. Adam Sandler mm -hmm. doing, uh, you know, his fun little stuff. So well, – Adam, um, Adam Sandler may be my favorite uh, – I guess he's like an author of movies because I think he's funny. Okay. So you, you, you like the Sandler movies. So Waterboy, uh -huh. Happy Gilmore, um, uh, Billy Big Madison. Daddy. Big Daddy, yeah. Billy Madison, all of them. Yep. Yeah, look at you. I, 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 can, I enjoy some of Adam Sandler movies. Some movies I, I, could, I could leave. I mean, there's, it's, you know, some of it I just I don't get. But. It's not for everybody. Yeah, you know. Hey, most most people have already turned me off because they're like, I don't get this guy. I'm only watching it for the other people. I grew up with you, so I kind of get you, and I kind of think it's nice That's that you're true. doing this, so, so I can learn who people are in church even when I'm not there. That's true. Well, yeah. With one of the fun things about this is that uh, I said in one of the interviews with the Stums, I believe they were the people I knew the longest at church. And that wasn't correct. I think we've known each other for 39 or 40 years. We've known each other since probably kindergarten, so that'd be 44 minus 5 for me. There you go. Yeah, so, no, I mean, oh, you know, man, it's been a long time. Either way, it's a long, long time. So I'll take credit for being second longest if you want the Stums to be ahead of you. Because no, no, you no, I think, I, I don't know. You might have beat them. I, I have no idea. It Either way, it's it been a long time. It doesn't make a difference to me if I'm first or second. Really? Uh, yeah, I mean... I'm very uh, competitive, so I, I like to. I always like to be first. So sure you do. <laughs> so I've known me for the longest time. I'm gonna go with that. Well, that would be the obvious comment. Thanks, Bill. There we go. All right, so let's uh, let, let's break this down. Um, is, is there something that we can actually pray for you for, ma'am? Um, you can pray for safety for myself and my coworkers with the pandemic going around that uh, God would keep them safe and that the virus would subside to the point where life could go back to, I'm not going to ask for like what it used to be, but it's like a fraction of what it used to be. Yeah. I mean, as normal as it can be where we can actually go then, back to church and stuff. Yeah, where we can go back to having gatherings and going to the yeah. ball game and do whatever we have and not be sitting in the house standing at the floor walls for 24 hours a day. Fair enough. Okay. And um, I'm trying to think of anything else you can pray for me for. You can pray for my mom because she's older, so I need them. She likes to go out in public and whatnot. Just make sure that she is safe too. How, how is she doing? Uh, mom is good. Uh, mom's retired. Uh, Ethan forced her out. <laughs> uh, he'll love that. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> but also, many of the kids that are graduating this year from Bathurst Regional that are seniors, this was her. Uh, this was her last middle school class ever. Yeah. So it was Ethan and many of his classmates. Yeah. One of the, the funny things, and this has nothing to do with, uh, Ethan actually has had almost every teacher he's had, at, like there's a year where then the teacher leaves after his class. I think he's retired like eight, ki eight teachers and then another teacher died during the summer vacation. His third grade teacher died during the after he had her in third grade. So he has put so many teachers on, uh, you know, into retirement. So we, we laugh at him for that. I think it's kind of funny that uh, 
I think that's just the way God planned it for my mom, and it's just funny that it fell this yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, when he found out she was retiring, he was like, I knew it. And then there's a teacher at Baptist High now, I believe, is going to retire this year, and that would have been her, his last, uh, she would have had him last. Um, let, let's go with, uh, who's a person of faith that inspires you? If I had to choose one, I know Mark Johnson's already chose my dad, but I'm going to go ahead and steal it anyway. My dad, uh, growing up, prior to his passing, was very influential in uh, my upbringing and making sure you had your devotions and doing what you were supposed to and behaving Christ-like. Um, what I mean by that is like, uh, if you get up in the morning, come downstairs and say, uh, what's for breakfast? Well, what was your devotions about? You can't make something up. Hey, I learned about God today. No, sorry, that didn't fly. You had to go back upstairs and actually read a passage of scripture and come down and tell like a uh, like a synopsis of what you had learned. Uh, after he passed, I have a lot of friends and probably teachers that, that have been influential in my life, and there's too many to choose. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Um, I I actually didn't know that that your dad made you do that. That's a that's a that's pretty cool. I, I, yeah, it's, uh, it was pretty neat. Like you couldn't come downstairs and say, "Well, today, Dad, I learned uh, John eleven thirty five. Jesus wept." Sorry, that didn't fly. And you couldn't do like the repeat verses from the day before because he was very sharp and be like, "Well, today I learned uh, Proverbs three five and six. That was yesterday. Go try again." Yeah, well, it make, makes a lot more sense now with uh, him uh, as he was a teacher that I, I couldn't pull off any of that stuff in any of his classes either, so. There was no pulling off any shenanigans at home, so you weren't pulling off any shenanigans in school. Yeah, I tried. I, I tried. Um, but, you know, I, I like like most of the things in life, I, I failed miserably at it. I don't know that you failed miserably. I think that you... Uh, <laughs> I, I graduated. I was just kidding. I mean, we even went. We got went, your diploma. We we and then we did a year at uh, Camden County. At Camden County, I did four. Well, we did a year at Camden County. Well, you and you Jimmy did Brown. more years. I I, I went off in a. You might have done more than one with me. I think you did two. No, no, I only did one. Yeah, I remember. I remember playing uh, Mortal Kombat with you in the cafeteria. I <laughs> too. I do. I uh, I love moral. Yeah, that was my schooling in college. So uh, college kids, uh, just let, let's just forget all that. And uh, you know, they they should do do more than Mortal Kombat because then you'll end up like me. Anyway, and anyway, we played Mortal Kombat and we were in the cafeteria eating food that we paid way too much money for. That's true. I I usually got the tasty cakes, that, as you can see. Anyway, let's uh, go with. Uh, uh, last thing, what would you like to tell the people of Emmanuel? Uh, I want to tell the people of Emmanuel that uh, I miss you guys a lot, and those, I guess I love all yous, and I want everybody to stay safe, and I look forward to the day where we can all gather together in a big, giant uh, party in the sanctuary and hear Pastor Vince sing and, and clap and dance on the platform and, and hear the word. It's going to be pretty amazing. It will be. It will be. Well, Danny, thank you so much, and uh, can't wait to see you, bud, in person, and uh, thanks for doing this, man. No problem. Thanks for having me. That was a ton of fun, a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> wow. Wow. That, that just hurts. That, <laughs> that hurts. Well, Danny, thanks a lot, man. We'll see you later. All right. See you later.